Welcome to Dental XP. My name is Dr. Ricardo Gapsky, and I'd like to share with you today a case that we did in our team uh, in Brazil uh, uh, involving a complex uh, aesthetic case uh, with this patient. This patient's chief complaint was uh, his smile. As you can see, there is a great uh, amount of loss of soft tissue and also uh, periodontal insertion. The, when you can take a photo of the lateral portion of the, of the patient, we can confirm also this great amount of soft tissue loss and also the uh, attachment of the teeth. One, initial tomography of the, the case confirmed the clinical findings. Uh, we can see that uh, we consider the, those, those teeth, uh, we're talking about the lateral incisors and the central incisors, uh, hopeless um, and the treatment plan was to place four immediate implants as we had an uh, adequate amount of uh, bone for, for such procedure. So a uh, custom uh, the template was made, uh, teeth were extracted in a minimal trauma so we didn't want to lose more tissue that we already had. Uh, we, for, we place four uh, external hex implants uh, in, in each in each uh, side in each uh, socket, and we 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 install immediately a one piece uh, uh, provisional crown. As you can see, uh, the the healing this is the healing uh, initial healing on four weeks after the the, the extraction the implant placements and. The three month uh, radi radiography showing the, uh, uh, the condition, the healthy condition of the infant's place. Those are uh, regular UCLA abutments, and the provisional crown was uh, performed as one piece, as I mentioned before. So, the great, great part, the important part of a case like that is the communication that you should have with your lab technician. And when I utilize uh, um, a technique where I, I take the traditional photo with a scale so the lab technician can compare in, in his laptop or computer uh, the, the chroma or the RGB of the patient natural tooth, but also we take a black and white photo so we can see the, the uh, value of the photo. Very important if, you, if you're talking about uh, prosthesis that involves ceramics, that will be reconstruct, will reconstruct uh, soft tissue. You have also have the scale for the, 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 the soft tissue as well. Uh, and finally, we do a digital mapping. We call digital mapping color. And this is easily done with a software such as Photoshop. Uh, this is a case that involves uh, uh, another patient, but we can use with any patient. Uh, we can uh, use the software to, to uh, digital map the exactly RGB of the tooth. As you can see, this, the, this, this patient in particular has a very complex amount of chromas, amount of translucities, and amount of uh, colors. So as you program the Photoshop and you click on, on, a, on a particular chroma, or particular RGB, the software actually, uh, um, the, the design is it is designed to uh, 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 automatically match the same color of, of where you clicked in the tooth. So you have, in lab technician will have also uh, this type of information. We use the Photoshop also to enhance the texture of the, the, the natural tooth. So he can also uh, provide uh, prosthesis as natural as possible. We can also do some uh, microgeography information for your lab technicians, such as reflection lines, concavities, calcification, fracture lines, and translucities. And this depends on what case you're dealing in, 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 your, in your office. Uh, in our case, we send out the original photo, the enhanced uh, texture photo, uh, we have, well, also the macro geography, and finally the digi digital mapping color. 
So all this information is, is transported uh, via online, Facebook or email to your lab technician. We also uh, allow to this when cases are complex involved, uh, especially cases that aesthetics are having a conversation with, with the lab technician so he can have all the information of the patient and transport all that those photos to his laptop and try to do the best case for, uh, uh, as possible. Here is, is the process of uh, including the ceramics uh, as uh, following all those digital mapping colors that we, we provide to the, to the lab technician. And we do have like an initial part of the, the, the reconstruction of the case. Uh, and then we do a, a test without a glaze. Uh, we install the patient, we see if we match the, 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 the color, we match the translucity, uh, we can do some, uh, we can change some colors with the glaze until we have a final crown that will match the patient aesthetics. In this case, we option for a totally retrievable prosthesis. This is very important when we're talking about maintenance, uh, not, not only periodontal maintenance, uh, when you consider that this is a periodontal patient, but also uh, to remove the prosthesis every three months to do some cleaning. The patient can, can uh, pass a dental floss underneath this prosthesis, but we like to have uh, the, the prosthesis totally removable for maintenance. Uh, when you install, it's common that you want to have some pressure on the soft tissue. So uh, initially, you might think you didn't, didn't match the color of the soft tissue due to the vasoconstriction uh, uh, of the soft tissue during installation. But as you can wait about 20 minutes, you can see that the results are coming well together and the patient is uh, satisfied with the final results uh, having uh, uh, the smile that he, he wanted uh, and he looked for. Well, thank you for, for watching and sharing and I wish you all success. Thank you very much.